five Nigerian girls from Regina Apache Secondary School on Nature in Anambra State, who represented Nigeria, had just concluded 2018 World Technovation Challenge as Silicon Valley in the United States of America, have won the gold medal. Under the mentorship of Uchenna Onwebu Ugu, they developed a mobile app called the Fake Drug Detector, which can assist consumers to identify and avoid intake of fake drugs. I hope Nigerian government adopts this mobile app as a tool to detect fake drugs in the country. Let's hear them out. Can you say for sure that the medications you are taking have all the active pharmaceutical ingredients it claims to have? And how would you feel if you found out that the medications you are taking are outrated? We are the team so from Nigeria. We are here to show you what we have for you. But before we continue, we'll love to introduce ourselves. Here are my colleagues and they are. I am Waboko Simons, the public relation officer. Jessica, the ideator. Jennifer, the art designer. Vivian, the financial analyst. I promise the developer. These big questions become big concerns for us in the developing world, <coughs> as much as those in the developed world, where the problem of global pharmaceuticals has left a distant store sore taste in our mouth. This problem worth solving. <laughs> the problem of unreliable pharmaceutical is a global pandemic which didn't spare Nigeria. And we don't save our genuine job, both customers and healthcare providers suffer. What are counterfeit drugs? They are drugs that are deliberately mislabeled without active ingredients, with drug quantities of the active ingredients and copies of the original product. Other consequences of this crime are that the legitimate pharmaceutical manufacturing company and location are abroad. Consumers are unable to differentiate this genuine product from the fake product. How big is this problem in Nigeria? Some years back, 109 children died in the cities of Nigeria, Ibadan and Jos, after ingesting a paracetamol based cough syrup. One of the brothers of my colleague here died because of fake drugs. The center of disease control estimates 30% of drugs sold in low-income countries as fake, expired, or damaged, compared to 1% in more industrialized countries. From this data, we can see the roots and sources of fake drugs. And that is why we have targeted independent pharmacy or kings at our first line because it has the highest percentage of fake drugs, which is 68%. Imagine a healthcare market where Promise and Jessica will be able to know the medications they are buying with the power of a mobile tech app like ours, FD Detector. And then imagine a situation where the physicians and providers will be able to have the insight to detect fake drugs before the prescription or drug dispensary, saving the body of the neck of both the consumers and providers. That's why we put in a solution by developing a mobile app which we named FD Detector. In order to protect the lives of the consumers, they need to distinguish between the fake and the genuine drugs. The solution implemented needs to be found on your product itself. And the solution is that all drug packs and packages need to be implemented in the permanent 2D code. Consumers can use their smartphone to scan the drug they intend on buying. How our app works? When you click on our app, the login page appears. If you are a user, you sign up. If an old user, you log in. Then the customer dashboard appears. Basically, we have three dashboards, the mascot dashboard, the agent dashboard, and also the consumer dashboard. In the consumer's dashboard, you can see the six categories of drug and learn more about drugs. Then, the main feature of our app, which is to scan drug. When you go to the main feature of our app, you click on the drug status. You scan your drug with your barcode. Then when you scan the drug, the barcode of the drugs, when you scan the barcode of the drug, it's going to show if it is confirmed or unconfirmed. It's also showing the aspiration drugs of the drug. We plan to raise funds by donations of our school companies. When from a school companies notice that they do have good sales with our app, they donate because it does not fit sales of their product in the market. It might lessen the value of the product and customers might find it difficult to buy their product. But if the rest are sure that our app will help them dictate the sales of their product in the market, they will appreciate and donate. 
our projections and milestones. In the next three to five years, we plan to scale up our intervention of partnering the Nerve Dark and Sun. Upon the problem of carbon fake drugs, we plan to extend our solution to detecting fake packaged food items. Together with we'll say this. So. Just go ahead and talk. He'll he'll raise the volume. We came up with this idea because we noticed that many people have died because of the intake of fake drugs. And we noticed that it's so rampant. Not only this challenge, not only a problem in my society, but a problem in Nigeria as a country, Africa as a continent, and the world at large. So that's the reason why we said that we don't like people dying here and there. That we should, uh, that we bring out this idea, um, think on how we solve it uh, technologically. Though it has an existing uh, solution, which is the scratch and sing, but it has many limitations, like. Um, when you use your finger to scratch the silver package, it is about the doctor that uh, contaminates the finger. And no, 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 a second limitation is that it has little, little digits. It's, it gives um, effect to those people that have eye effect when they stretch the eye to see it. And also in case of emergency, maybe you are in a hurry, you would like to do all those things. But our app will help you do it in an easy way. But the main thing is that the fake manufacturers of this drug can copy this number. And that is why we came up with the solution of a barcode. And in this barcode, we have a two-dimensional code. The visible one and the non-visible one. The visible one is the one that is in front, so you can see it. But the non-visible is the one that is in our database. Nobody else can copy it, except the pharmaceutical company and us. What was the technical challenge The technical challenge that we face while building this app is having access to internet connection, more especially, and also the utilities that we needed. Judges, with the microphones, just it'll take a second. He'll, he'll raise the mic from the back. So just give it a sec. So I just want to say I think you're incredibly brave and you're right to identify this as a problem because really don't you count uh, uh, anti-infectious disease drugs. So you're really on target for spotting an important problem. Um, how will you make the app make how will you make sure that the app is simple enough that people can use it who might be elderly or have illnesses who might not be able to understand some of the pretty advanced technology features that you have? Yeah, how will you make sure that your app is simple enough that people who might be older or have illnesses can use it successfully? If the app is complicated for people to use, we can advertise, maybe in the television, we can come out and tell people on how to use the app. Like, we tell them that if you scan through your camera the QR code of the drug, then you check the drug to know if it's confirmed or unconfirmed because that's the major thing that the consumer needs to know. What's the favorite thing in your app? What do you like best? The thing that we like best is, is the consumers checking the genuity of the drug because that's the main problem that we have. If they don't know where, if the drug is fake or genuine, that's why we are losing many lives in our country. I'm super impressed. You guys were amazing. Um, I wonder, are you s planning to save the information of if there are fake drugs in case that information could help authorities or something? If you just uh, if you find fake drugs, if you a scan says it's fake, are you going to save that information? Maybe the location where they scanned it, so you could give it to the police or the pharmaceutical companies to try to stop this. is if you if there is someone who's scanning the drug and it's a fake drug right? so 
is there something in your database that can store where that drug was scanned or who scanned it so that you can get the information on the fake drugs and help stop that problem that way? Yeah. In the report section, if you find like you have a report section in our database, if you find any drug like if you find any case of fake drug, you can report to the report section or you can give us a call and we'll tell you what to do. Will there be any, um, well, first, I agree, this is interesting. Will there be any additional cost to pharmaceutical companies to participate with you? What the pharmaceutical companies has to do is to donate because there are many fake manufacturers of their drug in the market. And if there are these fake manufacturers in the market, their own sales will depreciate. But this our app is helping them, so they have to donate to us. And also partner, partnering and sponsorship from some of Nigeria agencies, like National Agency for Food and Drug, Administration and Control, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, um, the Standard Organization of Nigeria, Sudan, and other international bodies like the World Health Organization. you have uh, gone through a personal loss and came up with this idea to address this issue, but how did you all come together as a team? Like, How did you decide that since one of your friends has suffered this loss, you all want to form a team and solve this problem? So how did you come up with the process of forming like, a team together? Um, okay, the how we came together was in the school. Like Our mentor came one day and she said that if you want to join the technovation team, that she would like to mentor us. So we came together, like we spoke on it, and we brought out an idea. That's how we came together. And when this um, decision of, of coming fake job was brought up by one of our colleagues here, we agreed that this is a major problem in Nigeria, and we need to put hands together and solve this problem. And that's more reason why we came together to solve this problem, fake job. I hope you inspire more people to join hands to solve such problems. Thank you so much. Thank you.